Hey everybody and welcome to my usual me. We are on Ark the Center map and this is the Primitive Plus official mod on GoodGaming.com server. And these are the Primitive Plus weapons and the damage that they do. <laughs> Alright guys, well I went ahead and put together all the weapons from the Primitive Plus mod, but I wanted to go ahead and we're going to run through our basic tools that you're already used to to get an idea of what they do. As you can see, my melee damage is only 105, so it's not going to be far from base, but you know it's 5% different than base. So what we're going to go ahead and do, I'm going to show you, like your stone pick does 11 points of damage. Your steel pick does 23 points of damage. Stone axe, 14. Metal axe or hatchet, 29. Your primitive spear, 21. Your pike, 36. Everybody forgets about this little guy right here. The, the, uh, the sickle or the scythe, dude, does 36 points of damage. Your pike does 36 points of damage. It does the same amount of damage as your pike. So if you're out and about and you're collecting fiber and you're getting attacked, don't be afraid to use this thing. And then, of course, we have our sword. Standard sword, 65 points of damage. All right, those are your standard uh, items that you're going to be getting, your melee, your melee weapons that you're going to have on your regular server. So next we have our machete, but it only does 10 points of damage. And it says it, 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 it says that it is a sharp metal machete used for harvesting specialized consumables. I don't know what's specialized about it. I thought, okay, well, does it collect a lot of fiber? Is that what it does? It doesn't. It didn't collect any fiber. Uh, when you hit a tree, the only thing I can see is it's, it's, you know, it's a thatch gatherer. That's about it. I mean, you go up. See, I don't even think I have a rock around here, but I don't. I mean, it's a machete, so it's gonna. It's it's for it's for chopping branches, leaves. So anyway, I'm not really impressed with the machete at all. This hammer, even less so. This hammer, it says, is a strong metal hammer, primarily used for taming dinosaurs. Now, really, three points of damage, taming a dinosaur. I thought, okay, it's gonna up the torpor quite a bit. Um, so I was like, all right, let's go ahead and let's just try it on, on an animal. Uh, I went, and you know what, just for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and let's, let's, let's hit it in the head, okay? Let's hit this animal in the head. Right now, that, put it up to like five torpor, man. Let's see, right in the face, bink. Sorry, girl. It's, okay, it's 10 torpor is what it gave, 12 torpor. Uh, that's not a whole lot. I tried to knock out a dillo, didn't work. Tried to knock out a dodo, took five hits. A dodo. I can punch it out faster than that. So, anyway, we actually have our obsidian uh, spear, and it says, A dangerous melee weapon made out of obsidian that can be thrown. It has a chance to break when used. So, it's just like your other spear, it has a chance to, to break. And uh, But, you know what? It's 39 points of damage. Not half bad. Not half bad. And, yeah, you can throw it. And, yes, you can collect it. As long as it doesn't break... You know, I mean, it doesn't. It says 30, but it's 39 when, when when you hit. It should do more when you throw it, and it doesn't. So that's really weird. It's very strange to me. I don't understand why. Now, my favorite one out of all these weapons, believe it or not, is this little guy right here. Look at this. This little pitchfork, dude, takes 15 wood to make. Just 15 wood. I mean, it does 29 points of damage, right? I mean. Our, our obsidian pick takes 39. It only does 10 points less, right? Let me go ahead and throw it. It does 30 points of damage. Same as the obsidian pick when you, or obsidian spear when you throw it. All right, the exact same. It only takes 15 wood. 15 wood. And I mean, uh, dude, you can, I mean, you can rapid fire these guys really, really quickly. And they pick, pick them right back up and just roll. I'm really happy with this. That was almost 100 points of damage. It's like right out. I mean, I mean, super fast. I'm so happy with this. I mean, you know, it's just like boom, boom, boom. And so that DPS was, 
Oh, I didn't show. Oh, 19 DPS. Okay, fine, whatever. So anyway, the next one we're gonna go with is the battle axe. This guy right here is a mighty axe used for serious battles. Yeah, oh, I thought, all right, man, I got myself up. You know, a mid a medieval battle axe. This is gonna be cool. I can clip you, cleave something in half. Ah, uh, seven points of damage. Really? Can I throw it? I can't even throw it, dude. Seven points of damage. For steel. For steel. Wasn't happy. So I'm thinking, all right, here we go. This guy's not going to be much better. It's bigger. It looks like, you know, like you know, at the beginning of Skyrim, you know, right before you, 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 you're you going to get your head chopped off. Anyway, so I was like, it looks like it looks kind of cool. I mean, it looks it looks cool. It looks I mean, it looks it looks cooler than the other one. It costs less, except you gotta have leather. That's the thing. You gotta have leather. But with you put some salt in here with some hide, you're gonna get your leather. So I was like, all right, well, this is a Viking axe. It better do something. And I was like, I don't know, man. So boom, 128. Oh my God! And look how fast I can hit with it. Look at this, man. Look at this. Damn it. DPS is 231. 231, man. He uses a lot of stamina, though. But still, I don't care. I don't care, man. Two, look at that, man. I was like, uh, almost 200. I can, I can kill someone in three seconds flat if they've got 500 points of, uh, on their health. I can kill them. Super. Mm, excuse me. Super, super happy with that. All right. That being said, that is all the melee weapons that we've got. So let's move on to... Our bows and arrows. Let's move all this out of our inventory like this. There we go. So let's go ahead and start with our regular bow. Our regular bow, which we're going to go ahead and we're going to put, we're going to go through all the arrows, okay? Go with the stone arrow right now, okay? Stone arrow with a regular bow. Oh, that's a feathered. Hang on. That's 52, but I wanted the regular arrows. I wanted the regular stone arrows. So regular stone arrows. Are 38. Feathered stone arrows are 52. Obsidian arrows. Are 94. And... Flaming arrows, which are made with gunpowder, 115. Now, that's with a regular bow. Now, if you go over here, you, you see all these arrows? You're collecting, okay, so you collect your obsidian arrow back, but with your flaming arrow, you collect it back as a stone arrow. You never collect back a flaming arrow because you've already burned it out. You already burned out the, uh, the gunpowder. It doesn't work like that. Um, so, what you're doing is you're replacing your gunpowder with, let's see arrow so what you're doing is you're replacing your gunpowder with either obsidian or with or with I'm sorry your flint with either obsidian or gunpowder so your feathered one you need feathers gives you a little bit better they see this is just that's flint and fiber so there's no fletching on it this has fletching this um, you're replacing your flint with the obsidian so it's sharper I guess and then of course a flaming arrow is burning your your opponent so that's why it does so much more damage so all right, I hope you've been writing it down, guys, because we're moving to the longbow next. Actually, let's go to the crossbow next. Well, your regular crossbow that you're used to, right? All right, so we'll go ahead and we're going to run through these numbers one more time. We're going to go ahead and go with the regular... Oh, it's a flaming arrow. I don't want a flaming arrow. We want the stone arrow. It's telling me that I can't do that. I know it's not true. Oh, okay. It already says I've got. I've already got the stone arrow. All right. So stone arrow. Does sixty six with the crossbow. The feathered. Fifty two. Now, why that is less with a crossbow, I don't know. I think it's because it's made for a regular bow, or for a crossbow. Now, the obsidian arrow in the crossbow does 
94. And last but not least, the Flaming Arrow is going to do 150. All right, guys. So, and see, you get back your Obsidian, but you don't get back your, your Flaming of you or your Feathered. It just comes back as a Stone Arrow. So, last but not least, we're going to go with the Longbow, baby. Longbow. Now, with the Stone Arrow, you can't use it on the, on the Longbow. It won't let you. You have to use a Feathered Arrow. It won't let you use a regular Arrow. So, you know, it's it, that's okay. But, let's face it, man. At 78 points of damage, that's not half bad. Not half bad. I'm um, going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and go with, or is it the Obsidian next? Obsidian Arrow next. Is going to give me 88. And the Explosive Arrows, sorry, not Explosive, Flaming. I wish they were Explosive. Flaming Arrows, and last but not least, 172, baby. The longbow wins out with the flaming arrow, hands down. So that and the Viking axe are the two best primitive weapons, which beat out our regular weapons, hands down. I think if you wait for too long, you can't retrieve your arrows anyway. So I think they disappear. So, all right, guys. Well, that's the that's the your uh, your your bows and your crossbows and your DPS for those. Now we're gonna go move on to the firearm section of the, of this. this video I'm looking for my rifle there it is okay cool now I have six simple bullets for my flintlock pistol and I have seven um, simple rifle ammo for my flint uh, my musket now I gotta tell you man I was expecting I mean I know see that you gotta reload that you gotta load it okay you reloaded it with a simple bullet. I was like, okay, well, you know, it's 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 black powder, man. It should do some damage. Boom. 112. Not bad. Now I go to click on it again, and I gotta reload it. And it, so I so I gotta click it twice. So you're clicking on it there. And then you gotta fire. And you click on it again. And then you gotta fire. I mean it's it's okay, but it's not it's all, all that in a bag of chips. This guy this guy, 280, baby. And even though it reloads, it re reloads just like a long neck. It's one click. You really just got to wait for it to reload. It's no, it doesn't take any longer than a long neck. And it's doing 280. That's base. This is all primitive stuff, guys. So I'm really super excited about that. All right, I'm not going to waste any more ammo on that. That's your two firearms that come with the primitive mod. And last, but certainly not least, you're like, I know there's some explosives in the game. There has to be. There is. You, you, I know you're like, there's some explosives in the game. I know it. And I'm like, yeah, I know there is. I haven't forgotten about them. So let's go ahead and do that right now, right now. And that is a barrel of gunpowder. It takes 60 wood, 75 gunpowder, 30 spark powder, 10 steel ingots, and 10 crude oil. Now, by the way, just so you know, your... Firearms, if you're curious, are going to be 60 metal ingots, 5 wood, 15 leather, and 10 cementing paste for the flintlock, and 95 metal ingots, 20 wood, 25 leather, and 15 cementing paste for the musket. So, but getting back to the barrel, like I said, oh, looky, who got the cookie? I made one. Very temperamental, primitive, explosive, and slight chance of misfiring. Boy, don't I know it. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and take this. We're going to put it right here, right here. And I'm not going to risk anything that I've... Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Screw it. They, I thought you could, like, fire at it and make it go boom, but you can't. Well, we're going to run out here. Is something following me? Okay, we're going to run out here. Yeah, they aggroed. Uh, we're going to blow something up. Now, it's got its own fuse built in. So, all I got to do... It's a good thing I got some beds laid down. I just don't know where I'm going to blow up. Uh, it's PvE on the server right now, so I can't blow somebody's gates up. Although that will happen during PvP. You guys are going to have to tune into my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash myusualme, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 
to uh, to check out what, what I'm gonna what we're gonna blow up and what we're gonna raid because we will be raiding on the weekend and I will be recording it. But you may not get it all unless you watch. So let's see. And by the way, guys, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please do. And uh, you know that Bronto looks really really tempting, but it moves around a lot. I tried it the last time. Yeah, I already recorded this once, guys. And my mic wasn't on, so I had to re-record it. So, you know, I've already tried this. Bronto moves too much because it takes 10 seconds or so for this barrel to go off. So I need something that's going to, like, stay in one spot for a minute. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm thinking. Bear with me. Well, guys, after running around and thinking about it, I realized the only thing that I can do to give you the proper DPS of this creature is to... <laughs> that's 10,000 health. That's 600 health. Uh, I think this is going to go boom. I'm going to lose that but and get a bag out of it. We're going to put this right down here and see if... <laughs> This dummy can withstand <laughs> the uh, explosive training dummy. You better hope that you uh, you survive because I don't know. It was, this is PV this is PVE, so it probably will. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to access inventory. What? It's a barrel of gunpowder. We talking about? All right, guys. We're gonna let this barrel and run. Cross your fingers. Hopefully, I don't die. Boom! There you go. Boom. It blew up the dummy, man. Blew up the dummy. Well, I know it does at least that. Well, that's not cool. That's not... Wait. Okay. 6,692 out of 10,000. So, we're looking at... It does 3,318 damage. 3,308. So, it does about 3,000 damage, guys. 3,300. Something like that. All right. Well... That gives you an idea what the barrel does and what its range is because it, it didn't damage it didn't damage the the wood floor and it didn't damage the wall here it just damaged that did it damage this guy no it didn't damage that so its radius is not very big it's about like that all right well that gives you an idea like I said of what's what and yeah that's gonna be all of the weapons and it's deep their DPS for the primitive mod and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And as I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Woo-hoo-hoo. PvP is coming.